Hey, how's it going? Today is Monday, first uh, day of the year of FAB January. Uh, and uh, we're taking a look at what kind of financial incentives are available up there. I, I, I can perhaps uh, uh, put things into perspective, right? Um, right now, I can perhaps access a number of opportunities within different uh, postcodes within UK, right? And myself uh, would be looking for a biggest percentage of my business in succeeding, right? Or to be successful, right? I can take a look at where people are putting a lot of work in and what kind of areas are suffering a lot. <laughs> and what, uh, if anything, I can, uh, people who do pay attention, they can see what councils, I don't know exactly what they're doing, right? <laughs> Perhaps additional training is required. I will touch on that in a minute. <laughs> Within those councils, perhaps there's uh, two or three businesses and they have uh, working only with those businesses and they're not necessarily interested within the councils not letting other businesses go, go come in there and uh, there might be a million reasons right <laughs> or not active or whatever they would define it themselves right so you can do your best if you want but this is my uh, reflection of reality right and what kind of business you like to operate for, for example within, uh, within different councils you might be able to source uh, perhaps training uh, a lot better you might be able to source finance a lot better, or you might be able to source different resources or whatever, expertise, right, a lot better, depending on many things, right, and as well as what kind of expertise you might have, right, many things to consider. Within this, uh, perhaps, uh, uh, video, uh, let's take a look at training, perhaps, so let's not on training, and if there is any funding available up there when it comes to training. There's only one area or one region within UK where they very actively supporting uh, uh, solutions to logistical problems, right? Very actively. This this is what the problems they're solving within the area, and we're supporting and giving a lot of incentives or business to operate and or manage a lot of log uh, logistics within that area, right? So uh, since I know that, so now I need to speak with the people within the area. Perhaps they don't know that. <laughs> If they don't know that, I need to come in and they would ask me a number of nonsensical questions because I, then I open the list, I can see all the grants and all the finances available within particular areas of UK and within that area, very actively supporting that. So perhaps there would, you can do other things as well, <laughs> but I would suggest perhaps do a starting business or operating that particular solution within that area. That's overall feedback, right? Uh, there is an option there, and or perhaps there is a non-profit there. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's non-profit, and this non-profit might be able to help you with uh, financial support when it comes to uh, qualifications, training, and or perhaps they have their own starters and uh, standards and or training providers. And then it comes to the sourcing finance, you might be able to work together with them and how to receive finance and uh, training all your staff if that's something yourself you're interested in. Perhaps that would be one of those areas, right? I haven't done anything within this organization. Let's touch on that briefly and let's move to the next one. Uh, some of those grants can cover day-to-day -day training, including short courses. Uh, sometimes it can be one day, sometimes it can be five day uh, where you're taking a look at something uh, depending on the course, right? It could be five days or so, and uh, as well as qualifications and or apprenticeships. Then it comes to sourcing finance, though there might be some opportunities available uh, there if it's something yourself you're looking to you looking to improve your qualifications or you would like to recommend for New Year for perhaps for some of the people up there to improve their qualifications, right? Or perhaps you have people, right? <clears throat> perhaps, I, I don't know if there, are, if there are a lot of organization or perhaps education and or uh, even financial support for education providers, uh, how many of those are available in the UK, perhaps we're considering there might be some business opportunities out there. It, there isn't a lot of, uh, of uh, businesses to choose from, right? Perhaps it's non-profit, right? And or person was trying to solve even his own problem, and by doing so, he offers very similar opportunities for others to take part in. And or when it comes to some of those areas, I thought that it might be worth touching on, or perhaps on the history of this organization, right? So it's something I have done that would be network pilot, and where they have uh, offered a lot of training for employers. 
as well as skills and uh, training funds, as well they might have uh, budgets available when it comes to upskilling or workforce, as well as leadership and management development funds, so there was something historical data, right, in, industry impact fund. So there might be different uh, opportunities available, and again, it might be within their particular uh, region and uh, where this organization is based. Right? Briefly, let's take a look at this case study and what kind of support is available within this region, right? Uh, within UK, right? So they are offering independent retailer grants and uh, where you can potentially source some of those finance to solve very particular problems within that area. That would be, uh, it might be out of date, right? So they might, they might, if there is going to be out of date, right? There might be a new opportunities coming in, right? Uh, so that's the name of the region. Let's skip that. Uh, it <laughs> we're not here to point any fingers, right? Uh, committed in straightening and uh, vitality of its local economy. So at least uh, the, the, some people are taking action and doing something while launching different programs within different areas, right? Uh, perspective of it. So okay, it's name of the location. Uh, corporate priorities. The uh, council is developing projects to. Uh, they generate okay again it's the name of towns and striving to create a conductive environment for new and established businesses as part of council strategy an independent retailer grant of uh, 1200 is available to encourage independently owned retailers to take up a vacant uh, premises in that particular location okay okay so they want to, uh, or they will try to get you into a uh, contract, right? So <laughs> be careful with some of those contracts there. There are regions within UK where they are offering six months. Uh, you yourself, you might need to enter the contract for two years or so, but uh, six months, perhaps the first six months, that would be free of charge. So you will not necessarily would need to pay for that particular location. That's options on the table, right? And then you don't need to pay for location. You can build your customer base. So when it comes to operating additional cost and or perhaps how much this council is looking to charge people, they might catch up down the line within the context of those two years, right? So perhaps they have different strategy up there. So it depends again on the contract or what kind of contract you might find yourself into. But this uh, council decided to offer a one thousand two hundred, right? So perhaps there's an option even there, and uh, the <laughs> its qualifications and or what kind of businesses they might be interested in supporting, right? Uh, depending on what council might be looking for, right? Some some councils might be looking for hairdressers, right? <laughs> the where they need to build the clients, right? Or perhaps a fast food shop where they, you need to build the clients, and you not necessarily would be able to move afterwards. So people might put a lot of things into a contract or they would give you a lot of uh, <laughs> documents to fill in and or they would give you again a lot of hoops to jump to <laughs> before letting you into you know, those properties, right? So depending, right? And or, so it depends, right? So what I'm saying is that there's different opportunities available up there. Some might offer 1,000 uh pounds incentive some of my offer you perhaps uh, a two year contract with six months being free of charge so you can take a look at yourself and uh, see what uh, opportunities are available out there within the market there are some international businesses who are interested in operating in different regions for them to enter different regions and perhaps they would uh, ask for tax rate so perhaps reducing that one right so perhaps having only five percent of tax rate <laughs> even that's it since we're taking a look at location right so perhaps even that might be a better uh, solution depending on what you're looking to solve right and uh, some of those incentives compared to past tax rate of five percent and they uh, here within this contract they offering you 600 <laughs> 600 so again so <laughs> depending what kind of problem you're looking to solve right and what kind of business you got and what you're looking to operate and or how much you're looking to generate to that region right so it depends again <laughs> Uh, yourself, if you're interested in learning more, I have published a book. Within this book, I'm taking a look at and uh, looking uh, to share a lot of information about livestock enterprise and where to begin and how to launch your first business if it's not something that you have done in the past. 
that will be where everyone would begin taking a look at financial goals that will be zero and how you can potentially progress from zero to first 10,000 uh, euros dollars pounds and how you can potentially achieve this first milestone if uh, particularly if it's not something that you have done in the past within this book I'm sharing a lot of information as well as a lot of examples and uh, you how you can potentially learn from other people's experiences and what they did and or decision making when it comes to establishing your own first business you can find it QR code in the corner and accompany this website below Yeah, I'm just uh, talking about a different uh, fictional example, right? Um, I don't know. Uh, either way, I'm bringing more attention, I guess, to this uh, great opportunity for people who are interested in uh, perhaps acquiring a uh, physical location for your business. So uh, either, either way, I'm bringing more attention to that, but I'm, I'm making up things, right? As I, go, I guess. But let's say if I would like to have 5% corporate trade, if I would need to chat to this person, and if I would, if that person would be able to make that, that decision, that's what I like to understand, right? Or this person would need to talk with, uh, with 20 or 30 competitors, right? And see what kind of uh, programs they have entered and have access to, right? <laughs> that's, that's kind of commercial secrets, right? So no, not that many people are discussing what kind of contracts they're entering uh, in. Or perhaps they're leaving a lot of room where these people would disclose that very sensitive information to others, right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.